Constitution is clear that you become disqualified once you engage in the insurrection. There is no need for a specific finding by a court or a tribunal. Right now, Colorado Supreme Court making a historic decision that could play a major factor in next year's presidential election. Former President Donald Trump is ineligible to appear on the state's primary ballot next year. The Colorado Supreme Court deemed Trump ineligible because of his role in the January 6th insurrection on the U.S. Capitol. Now, this decision could have implications nationwide, including right here at home in Georgia. Atlanta News First, Rebecca Schramm is live at the state capitol. And Rebecca, political operatives are watching that Colorado Colorado place very closely right now. They are Brooks. Uh, this is all part of a legal effort uh, by Democrats across the country. They've been coordinating this. They're trying to disqualify former President Donald Trump and some of his key allies from running for office again. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene on social media was quick to condemn the ruling. She wrote the Democrats and four Colorado judges just stole the election away from the people of Colorado and robbed them of their right to vote for President Trump. Trump. Remember, a year ago, Green herself faced allegations of violating a clause of the 14th Amendment. Georgia Secretary of, Brad, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger later accepted a judge's ruling saying Green was qualified to run for re-election and added that voters should decide if someone remains in office. We spoke with Eric Segal about what's happening with former President Trump, and he is a constitutional law professor at Georgia State University. Here's what he said. The reason I don't think Donald Trump should be disqualified is because whether or not he engaged in insurrection under the law is a cloudy issue. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And I think reasonable people can disagree on that question. To disqualify the front runner of the Republican Party and a former president, we need certainty. And certainty is just not there, he says. Also watching the Colorado case very closely is Georgia Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones. There's a separate case down in Butts County to try to disqualify Jones over his role in trying to overturn the 2020 election when he served as a quote unquote alternate elector. Let's go now to my colleague Rick Fulbaum. Rick is uh, concentrating on more of what's happening there in Colorado. Rick. Well, Rebecca, thank you. This historic Colorado decision was in response to a lawsuit that was brought by a group of Colorado voters who questioned Mr. Trump's eligibility based on his actions January 6th. Their question, whether those actions and his words telling the crowd to march to the Capitol and fight for their country violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which disqualifies from office anyone who was engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the U.S. The Trump campaign called this ruling completely flawed. It says it plans to appeal to the Supreme Court. Meantime, Colorado voters are split on Mr. Trump's at least temporary removal from the ballot. I mean, that's great. He's a crook, so good riddance. I'm just speechless. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's not right. Colorado elections officials say that the matter has to be resolved by January 5th. That is the deadline for the Secretary of State to finalize the names to be included on Colorado's primary ballot.